This is Mike Ismani with Synergia. I'm one of the two co-leads along with Mike Lewis. And this video uh, is sort of an introduction to a broad, sort of a broad overview of what we're going to be doing for the next 15 weeks in this MOOC. Uh, I want to start by sort of sketching out for you the structure of the 15 weeks, and then we'll get, we'll dig in and we'll talk a little bit about some of the details and even introduce you to what's going to happen in module one. So uh, welcome, it's really exciting. There's seven to 800 of you uh, all moving in the same direction we are, exploring transition issues and systems change and the politics to get us there. And uh, it's really exciting uh, that uh, we've been able to restructure this course and engage with so many of you in so many parts of the world. And we look forward to that kind of horizontal engagement over the next uh, um, 15 weeks. Uh, I want to, we, we call this a course, but really it's a journey that we're all on together. And so uh, I'm not going to call it a course. I'm going to call it a MOOC. It's an open online, um, let's say, uh, maybe a, a, a collaboration for that C instead of course. And uh, why I say that is that um, if you think about a course, you have to show up at the lecture. If you miss a lecture, you feel like you're behind. You're never going to catch up. Well, that's not what we're doing here. We're all going to help each other along through this process. There is some structure, but it's not tight where you have to show up and be there at all times. So let's look, let's look at the big picture first. Uh, next week, we start for two days orientation. And as part of that, you're going to see that over the next 15 weeks, we have four modules. Each one runs for a week. Then we take a four-week intellectual pause or break just to catch up, catch our breath, and then uh, we do four more weeks with four new topics and many new instructors. And uh, then we end with three weeks where we, after we sort of reach this final <clears throat> synthesis stage, where we can take a breath and again, maybe develop a reflection paper that talks about how we're gonna advance our practice. So the, the, the overall structure was influenced by the feedback we got from the first time when we actually did offer it more like a course. So people said, I don't have a lot of time. I'm really busy. We have feet on the ground. We're, we're always constantly working. So we've tried to design it so five hours a week for four weeks. But if you miss some things, you can catch up during that four week pause in the middle. If you can't start right away next week, start looking at the material, but start the next week. And so see this as a very open and flexible pacing strategy so that you can notice what others are doing, even if you're behind, quickly catch up, use the time and the break to sort of arrive at the end of module four, where everyone else may have preceded you a couple of weeks ahead of time. And then you're ready to start part two uh, at the same sort of you're all digging at the same place uh, where you stand when you start uh, the second half of the course and the same thing at the end there's a chance there to catch up not feel like you're behind and don't just disappear because one of the problems with MOOCs is people get they, they feel lonely or they feel behind and they give up and they just walk away and uh, so we've tried to design this in many different ways to support you through this with the timing and also the role that Mike and I are going to play as inside animators and connectors and uh, weekly sort of mirrors on your activity. So we're going to reflect back to you what's happening and we're going to coach you through the, each stage of the course. The second aspect is that the week, we design the weeks a little differently this time. They start on a Wednesday morning and they finish on a Tuesday evening. So by starting in the middle of the week, uh, we were encouraged to sort of free up a little more time in the middle of the module on the weekend for people to catch up or to do a deep, deep, deeper dive to find a little more time to maybe write a paper or write a commentary. And then on the last two days of the week, the Monday and Tuesday, to post a comment that is a little more measured on what, they're, what they've learned or what, how the issues apply in their context. And then uh, maybe comment or post a re, uh, on another person's uh, comment uh, or another person's uh, uh, position on the, same, on the same issues. Now, there's so many of you, you're not going to be able to read everything. So you're going to start to find a couple of uh, 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 answers or, uh, or, or threads of discussion that appeal to you. And you can dig, dig into those and, 
at, at your own time, maybe go back and catch up to some of the others. And you won't be able to do it all, but again, there's some time in the middle there for you to, to, to go back and say, you know, I liked what so-and-so said, I'm gonna follow, see what else they said in the rest of the course. So those are the two sort of structural envelopes. So think of the week as an envelope of time. The course itself has different envelopes. So it has four weeks, four weeks off, and then we're back for four weeks, and then we've got three weeks at the end. Every week has seven days, middle of the week to the next week, and you can go 24 seven into that material and engage it in any way you want. So let's talk about inside a module now, what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna just check my notes so that I make sure I don't mislead you. So there's four layers of learning in every module. Uh, the first layer has been a, ton of work that all of us have done on curating material. We've had a lot of advice from people from all over the world on the kinds of grassroots, on the ground examples of, of systems change, or at least projects that are, are engaging in systems change, whole communities and whole movements. So we've tried to show you these across a series of themes and uh, such as food and energy and social care and finance, and we'll get to those later. But every week we take the same approach. There's these curated materials for you to review. Then there's a commentary that we've written, which is sort of our take on the relationship between the elements that we've just uh, asked you to read. And then there's a discussion space, and that's where you, you take over and where really the, this, this collaborative MOOC becomes your opportunity to, to cooperate with each other, to do this kind of peer-to-peer -peer or horizontal exchange, uh, an opportunity for you to say, how do these issues play out in your context? What's special about your context that maybe this example may work or might not work or may have to be modified? Or to ask questions of each other. How would this work for you? How did you do this? How did you do that? That's what this, this these boards are gonna be busy, but there's an opportunity there for you to connect especially using the keyword function to sort of find each other and find themes. So remember that this third, this third piece is this horizontal discussion. The fourth piece is a little different. It's, uh, there are two exercises that, you, that we ask you to undertake to do a little bit of synthesis work every module. One of them is visual. Mostly that's because <laughs> I think uh, some people, and actually even a lot of us, are visual learners. And you'll see right in module one, we, we, we talk about donut economics, this really intriguing image that uh, Kate Raworth used to get us to think about how economics has to be located within planetary limits, planetary boundaries, boundaries. And she does it in a way, I think, that engages us in a simple way to begin to think about how economics and society fit within ecosystems and how they relate to each other and how livability and ecosystem health are mutually reinforce each other. So every week I ask you and Mike and I are asking you and all of us are asking you to sort of think about how would you visualize the topic of the week, whether it's neoliberalism or food security or green finance. And, and it's a chance for you to have a little fun to go out on the internet, find some images, copy them and po post up an image and talk about why you chose it, why it spoke to you that week. The second assignment is more of a, your personal synthesis of how the reading for that week um, engaged you, M maybe what, what was new, uh, what stimulated you. And we're gonna talk about more about this, but the point is it gives you a page or a page and a half, not a lot, just a chance to take some quiet time and then write it out and then share it with each other. And again, there's this horizontal opportunity with these assignments, they're not coming to us as some kind of elite professors who are now gonna you know, read these things. No, these are shared documents where you're gonna share with each other your learnings and you're gonna engage with each other and learn from each other. So those four levels of, of learning or instruction, I would say it's learning that's take place in each module. And there's a fifth, let's call it the fourth and a half, for those of you who really want to dig deeper, we have a sub supplemental list at the, the end of each module. And here we have other readings, further readings. Um, and if you need more, you just email <laughs> any of us and we'll make sure that we can connect you with uh, other researchers or other practitioners who've developed discussion papers on the topics that we're introducing. 
So that's the second point I want to make with you. The third point, and uh, just just take a second to uh, grab my notes because I have a lot of hair, but my brain is full of ideas this week, and I just have to remind myself. Okay, so the two mics. There, that's Mike G. That's me, and <laughs> there's Mike L. Mike Lewis, who told me he's going to call himself Michael because there's two mics in this course. But the two mics are going to be inside here every week. I'm going to introduce what to expect every module. Just simply as uh, you'll hear in a minute how I'm going to introduce the upcoming module one. And later in the week, Mike is going to do a short two minute video, two to three minutes sort of saying, what did he see? What kinds of connections are people making? What really excited him about uh, threads and discussions? And he's going to, in his essence, sort of reflect back to you some of the learning that you're generating in that horizontal space. And that's, I think that's the, what we would like to see, we, what the possibilities, I suppose, of this technology allow us to do is to begin to engage all of you then to say, hey, take a look at this, take a look at that. Because it's going to be, I call it organized chaos for a while, but don't despair on that. It'll start to settle out and you'll be got to see pathways through this material and pathways through uh, engagement with other people.